This is Giselle Charlo from Kids Yoga Stories. Today we're going to read and act out a winter yoga adventure. And as I read Jenny's Winter Walk, follow along by acting out the keyword that matches the yoga pose demonstrated by Jenny on each page. Okay, here we go. Jenny's Winter Walk, a kids yoga winter book. Written by Giselle Charlo and illustrated by Vicki Bowes. Mama, asked Jenny, do you think we'll see a deer today? We might, little one. Lots of animals live in the forest, said Jim, Jenny's mom. She zipped up Jenny's jacket, pulled down her hat, and slipped on her gloves. Before we go, let's do some exercises to warm up. Together, mother and daughter stretched and did jumping jacks. Okay, let's go, exclaimed Jenny as she ran down the path. Do you smell that? Jenny asked as she marched across fallen pine branches. I sure do. I love the scent of pine needles. Imagine how the trees will look after the snowstorm tonight, her mom said. We will have our own winter wonderland. Jenny stopped suddenly. Shh, Mom, do you hear that? Yes, a bird is singing a beautiful song. Mama pointed up to the tree. Look, there's the cardinal singing on that branch. Let's walk slowly so we don't bother her, she whispered. Mama, asked Jenny, can we climb across those logs? Be careful, little one, her mother warned. Use your arms to balance. They stood together, looking out over the frozen lake. Where do the fish go in the winter, Mama? asked Jenny. The fish are still there, her mother explained. Look at the waterfall. The water is still running, but now there's a layer of ice on top. The fish are under the ice. A squirrel, Mama, said Jenny. Do squirrels get cold in the winter? I'm sure they do, little one. That's why they have their cozy dens, just like you prefer to stay indoors when it's cold outside. Jenny's mom winked and the two skipped down the trail arm in arm. What was that red thing? asked Jenny, holding height, tightly to her mother's hand. That was a fox, Mama replied. Maybe she's rushing home for lunch. I'm hungry too, said Jenny taking a bite of the granola bar Mama had put in her pocket that morning. It was sweet and crunchy. Do you hear the wind whistling in the treetops? Her mother asked, touching Jenny's shoulder gently. Let's head back to the car, little one. A deer, Mama, Jenny pointed into the forest. That deer is camouflaged in the trees. I didn't even see her. I wonder if she has her little ones nearby too, said Jenny's mom, her eyes twinkling. Jenny bounded ahead toward a shelter in the woods. Oh, look at that cute bunny, Jenny said. Can I touch it? No, let him be, Mama said. She gave Jenny a quick hug as they watched the deer rabbit dash under the shelter steps. He's made a secret home where he can keep warm. Jenny and Mama walked hand in hand down the path. Before long, they came to a wooden boardwalk. In the summer, we watch fish and turtles here, Jenny said. This lake was full of lily pads and now it's covered in ice. Mama took a deep breath. It's so quiet and peaceful here. 
Mama, asked Jenny, can we go home now? I'm cold. Yes, of course, little one. We'll have some hot soup. Then we can snuggle up and rest by the fire. Jenny's mom scooped her up into her arms. I love you, Mama, Jenny said. She planted a warm kiss on her mom's cool pink cheek, and the pair headed down the path together.